Hey guys, and welcome back to Homes on Wheels. We've got a wonderful tour for y'all here today at the home place. If you can't tell, this home right here is massive. It's beautiful. It is a three bathroom, four bedroom Deer Valley home. And it sounds like we are at Talladega 500 again because the road's right behind us. But we had to show y'all this exterior as well as this built-in porch up here. It wraps all the way around the front and it is beautiful, guys. What do you, what do you think, Heath? It's huge, man. All right, guys, let's walk on around the exterior of this home. If this is a funny seam in the video, just so y'all know, there's a crazy frog over here. It that, sounds like a dog. It sounded like a dog. We're like, oh man, what is that? <laughs> that's so extra. We couldn't, that's an add-on. Yeah, that's, we couldn't step onto this porch fast enough. It's about to rain. Yeah. And you know what? You bring up a good point, because you got a covered porch. If you're coming home and it's raining, yep. You're stepping onto a real porch, not just a little inset, a yes. real porch. That wraps all the way around the exterior of the home, which is really nice. So if you take a look at what you have right here, it may not seem like a big deal, but to me it is. If you bought this home and you didn't have the extra funds to go ahead and build an exterior porch on it, it's already built in. All you gotta do is add some steps. There again, this home features the nice croft style aluminum windows. You can even see the stickers that are on here. They've tested the pressure on the inside of them to make sure that they're gonna be as soundproof and weatherproof as possible. So I guess it's gonna be a good test to head inside and see if we can hear the train in there. Yeah. <laughs> and, we're, and we're perfectly dry. Oh yeah, that we are. It's quite a bit of a storm that we're in, to be honest. Oh wow. This is very open. This? I'll tell you, if I walk through this front door, I would never know that this is not a stick-built home, Brandon. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful home. I, I love everything about this house. We actually walked through it before we turned the camera on to make sure we had all the lights flipped on. And uh, wow, that's all I got to say. The amount of room that's in here, if you have a large family, this would be the home for you without a doubt. Yeah. I love the styling that they got though, where you walk into the dining rooms over here, instead of it having like its own separate walls kind of separating it, they just left it open for them. Yeah, I and, like uh, that. There again, if you got a big family and you know you can't fit everybody in the living room at once, you got some people hanging out at this massive bar, or you have somebody hanging out over here at the kitchen <laughs> table, they can all see where the TV would be, they can all see the living area. And it's just a beautiful home. And one of the things that I'm excited to see that now that's coming back into style, have you noticed the darker cabinets are coming? I have, and I noticed also this is real wood cabinets in yes. this home too. Well, and I know some people still prefer the white because they say that it leaves it more open and airy with a lighter color, yeah. color cabinet. However, when you've got this much room, I mean, in my opinion, it just kind of makes it pop against the white walls. Absolutely. It just makes it look better. And you do have that nice mix of white in here though. Oh, absolutely. And that with the canned lighting, the lighting over the bar area or the island area. It's a nice touch. It's a big bar, man. It, it is. It's a massive bar. And they've only got two stools in here. You could easily put four stools under that. I think so. And I mean, with the with the wood down here, there again, this is real wood, it's not paneling. They've got it painted white to offset the darker cabinets. So, yeah. like you said, it's just not so much dark that it just pulls all the light out of the room. I do like this home too because it has the pantry over here to this side. Oh yeah, that's a big deal to a lot of people, the pantry. And it does have the wire shelves, but you can upgrade those and we'll put a link down in the description to uh, upgraded shelving if you want to see that. Now keep in mind, this home, we're doing a sneak peek so it's not completely put together yet. Yeah. I have all the finishing touches on it as well as the floor. Uh, but we wanted to get in here and show it to y'all because this is one of those homes that just absolutely takes your breath away whenever you walk in, in a good way. Absolutely. I love that Shelby. white subway style tile back here though too. Yeah, that's nice that's for the nice backsplash. Splash. Well, if you're clumsy like me in the kitchen, you gotta stir something or whatever and it splatters up on your sheet rock. That's a lot harder to get off, especially like a flat paint than it is a backsplash. You know, it's so in and then you're having to repaint your whole kitchen. Yeah, Brandon, and look at that uh, exhaust hood there. It looks like it's just built into the house. Wow, that's a big one too. Yeah, that <laughs> that's is. A big hood. You got plenty of uh, windows in here for natural lighting. Yeah, that, that makes a big difference too. Four large windows in the kitchen. It's kind of a more of a modern style single basin stink sink. Man, I keep saying stink. That's the second video in a row. I don't know. What's I know it. And 
it pulls down. <laughs> that's my test. I mean, that's my test. If it doesn't have that, it's like a, almost a deal breaker for he'd be, me. He'd be completely disappointed if that thing didn't. One stand. of these days, I'm going to reach in one of these home tours to pull one down, and it's not going to pull, and I'm going to be like, oh, got to go. <laughs> you just yank the whole fall. Yeah. <laughs> you do have room in here, like they have it set up right now for these shelves that are just kind of like the floating shelves with a rough style of wood. wood. I think that that's a big deal yeah. uh, for decoration purposes. I mean, you could put your fancy dishes or – uh, like we said in another video, knickknacks, stuff like that in here, uh, just to kind of make it more homey. You know, it just yeah. gives you that more of that feel. They did a pretty good job staging it, though, giving you an idea of what it would look Absolutely. like. Absolutely. There again, this is that slick style countertop. It does look like barn wood. However, it is not much easier to clean. I've got to tell you all that. And this island is just slap full of cabinets. Wow, it really is. That is a lot of cabinets. I bet you these are going to, oh, yeah, look at there. Yep. 20 inches deep. These are going to be the soft clothes as well. Here we go. That's my test. I guess you get the seat. Yeah, I get, I get the, the seat. Yeah. I always get seat detail or dish detail. <laughs> hey, and check it out. They've even got a plug in, uh, on the end of this island. You can put your mixer there. Margarita night, I'm just saying. Well, you know, too, that would be a handy spot if you have one of those uh, floor sleepers. You know, you can plug it yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, you know, if you put it up on the Let bar, Kelly do that. Yeah. <laughs> If you plug it, that's my chore at home. It's back. Oh, is it? Yeah. See, I get dish detail. See, I, I'm terrible at dishes. So. Oh. But yeah, if you plug in your vacuum or something up here, then yeah, you it's know, knocking stuff off. off the counter. Yep. So that would be a great spot. Hey, good point. Good point. I can tell. I can tell you get that chore at home. Yeah. You got six drawers across there, though. Yeah. You got deep cabinets with a secondary shelf in the top. Honestly, you could probably add another shelf in there if you want. I to think you could. Yeah. Room. Yeah. Absolutely. And though you have a pantry in here, you've got some big cabinets right here next to the fridge that, man, they're deep too. Look at that. Come around. Yeah, that thing is massive. We're used to filming these by ourselves, guys. So when it's just me and Brandon, I know they get a little longer, but they're a lot more detailed. Yeah. And we don't miss anything when we're together. Yeah, well, we, we've figured out that we both have different styles, too. So Different we, taste in houses. Oh, I walked into the refrigerator. Remember that? <laughs> These appliances, too, are some of the nicer appliances. I guess there. They call it the black stainless steel. Yeah. And that seems to be the all the rage now. People really love that. I didn't show them the price. Oh. I, I, I purposely didn't show them the price that's on the refrigerator. Because we'll tell them all about that at the end. Well, and I've got to be honest with you. I think y'all are going to be shocked when you see the price on this home. It's well shocked in a good way yeah, yeah i mean it's a great deal on this home i mean i without a doubt it would probably be my go-to this is probably yeah. the one i would buy there's your there's your uh coffee area yeah Brandon. That's, that's a wide drawer right here too yeah all the room you'd ever need to put anything yeah Lord knows all the cure egg cups every one of them would go right there every flavor well every home has a junk drawer that right there would just catch too much junk <laughs> You go in ours and you might find a hundred phone chargers and cubes and all that kind of stuff. Look at the ceiling in here. I think yeah, it's the pretty, beams. I think it's pretty neat how they did the beams. Yeah. I, I mean, it just gives you kind of that tray pan feel. And they did a really good job of right above the ceiling pan right here. They actually put in wood up there. So it kind of blends back in with the mid range as well as the lighting where the fixtures are in the kitchen. Right. This home is equipped with a wood burning fireplace, by the way. So this is electric. Okay. It's not gas. It is real wood. Uh, I'm sure there's an option, though, if you wanted gas logs, that they could go ahead and add that on for you. And they can customize these homes, guys. Yep. But I love the way that that rock looks. Oh, it does. Yeah. Is that real? Is that real or is that faux rock? No, it's going to be faux rock. Kind of like a tile type, though, right? Yeah. I mean, it's it is probably concrete that they poured into molds or something. I don't know how. It works. My mom's got that in her in her kitchen, and she lives in a really really nice stick built home. And it's the exact same type. I love the mantle too. Beautiful mantle. Yep. So I guess it'd be a good time to showcase the floor. There again, this is that beautiful vinyl style. It looks like real wood though. When you look at it, it's like real wood or real tile. Just, just glancing at that, you couldn't tell the difference. No, not at all. If you can tell the difference from this, from the video, Give us a thumbs down. Yeah, yeah, please do. Or if you don't like what we're doing, leave us a thumbs yeah, down. Yeah, leave us a thumbs down. Tell I mean, we want to know. Tell if, us in if the there's, comments. Yeah, tell us in the comments. If we're doing something wrong, I promise you we will not get offended. We want to know. We want to make these vi videos better for you guys. 
But a thumbs up does help us. <laughs> you can even make fun of my Donald Trump hair. I don't care. Yeah. Just, just do it in the comments. Let us have it. He's not related to him, I promise. No, we do use the same hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Nice coat closet, or not coat closet, towel closet right outside of the... The guest bath. Yes, and this guest bath right here, I do step like, on it's in. close to the living room. So if you have guests, they can zip right in here, and they're not trudging all the way down this long hallway past all your bedrooms that you may or may not have cleaned. Yeah, but it's not just attached to it either. Right, you have to walk in a little hallway to get around to it, so there's still a good bit of privacy here. Yeah, I like that, because there's nothing worse than having to go to the bathroom, use a guest bathroom at somebody else's house, and you're not feeling real well, and well, you're right there next to the living room. Yeah. That's horrible. I, I just about act like I have to go out and get something in the truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I gotta run to the store. Yeah, I'll be right back. And here's the here's the bath. Man, look out the window. We have a, like a hurricane going on, guys, and you can't hear it in here. <laughs> yeah, we really do. It's 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 like it's really bad out there. <laughs> so we're gonna pan back over and around. Now, if you then look, we'll come down the hall here. Look how long that hallway is. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, so which room do you want to go to first, Brandon? Uh, left or right? Down the left side. We'll go work right down the left right. side. Yep. Yeah, let's Sounds good. All right, so we're going, this is the first room to the left. This is a bedroom here. It's a big bedroom. Too. It is. This is a now, nice you, bedroom. You could put a king-size bed in here. Oh, yeah, easily. This could be one of those situations where, say, you have uh, – Elderly in-laws or an elderly family member, yeah. you can move into this home and be very comfortable. Absolutely. Four bedrooms, three baths. Absolutely. Good size closet there. Again, you could add wood racks in here uh, from Amazon for forty or fifty bucks. Not a big deal. Oh, it's even got a uh, it's even got a plug in the closet. What? what? I haven't what? seen that one. I don't know, but <laughs> that's where your Roomba goes home. It could be, yeah. yeah could be. Whatever. We're, we're in the 21st century, right? 22nd, I forget. <laughs> I, had, I did a double take when I saw it. I'm like, no, I didn't just see that. I guess it's worth mentioning, too, that you do have your vents in the ceiling here. Yep, you do. They're, they're not on the floor, so your heat and air is coming through the ceiling. A lot of people think that that's just a huge deal because of the amount of dust and dirt and grime that falls down into it. Well, and it doesn't lock you into where you put your furniture. Yep, that's exactly right. You know, the last thing you want to do is block a vent. And there is your heating and air. Uh, control right here off this first room and we're going to continue on down the hall the first room to the left well kind of like that bathroom here again you have another little hallway that you step into and to the right is going to be a longer room and this is going to be another bedroom and this is another good size bedroom guys i mean you could easily you could, a queen yeah i was going to say i could you, i could put a queen in here so i have room for dressers and everything else yeah but a full-size bed would leave tons of room in here big large crown molding baseboards nice they're all the way around the bottom they stuck with kind of a cream color on the the trim and drywall uh, it's the same closet as next door yeah. and here's something interesting i would say i was so happy to do the video earlier we went through a hall and i was talking about the nine panel door i meant six panel i saw something online that says that these were made with a cross in them you see the cross right there? i see it yeah and that, that was to ward off of evil spirits or something really? back in the day. I had no clue. But yeah, you guys don't first cross this in your door. Don't know if that's true. Y'all just know in the comments if y'all have heard Yeah, that's the first time I've heard that. You All right, so work your way in here. Come into the laundry. Oh, I like this. Got a nice workstation right here. Absolutely. This right here is a good area, especially if you've got a messy husband like me that are, you know, or whoever's doing the laundry. I mean, yeah. everybody's got their different roles in the family. I know I'm terrible about spilling food on me. And yeah. My wife's constantly messing with shout, all this kind of stuff, trying to get the stains out of my clothes. Yeah, and this is uh, where you put your washer and dryer right here. Yep, you do have your exterior door right here. Good area for your washer and dryer to the side. We'll go ahead and open this up. I believe this is the hot water heater. Yep, and that is a big hot water heater. Oh, look, and it says commercial grade, too. So that's, that's a huge hot water heater. That is a big hot water heater. And if you look, this has sheetrock on the back side of the door. And you may wonder, well, what's the reason for that? And that's just to add a little bit more soundproofing to the home. Yeah, and you can hear the hot water heaters kick on in some homes. So that, that's going to give you some good soundproofing. All right, so we're going to come back into the main hall, and we're going to turn back to the left here. Yeah, we might as well go ahead and do the master. Let's do is this the master? This is the master. Okay, we'll we'll go we'll 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 it it we'll 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 we
Yeah. This is wow. a good size master bedroom. Usually when you have a four bedroom home, the first room that suffers is going to be the master. It's yeah. Like they take the extra room out of it. Yeah. To put into the other bedrooms. They didn't do that in this home. Oh, and there's two uh, windows there, and there's two overhead, those slotted higher windows right there. Yes. And this is pretty neat. Some people like having closets in the bathroom. Some people don't. This home has a nice big walk-in closet that's right here to the side. And then there's another big closet in the bathroom that we're going to see in just a second. Yeah, and they are staging this, guys. So just be aware if you see this stuff on the floor. You know, look They've at even got crown molding in the closet, Brandon. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And, you know, they do have the wire shelving in here, but, you you know, you can change that yourself. So we're going to step back around. Look at the size of those window seals. Yeah, that's uh, that's huge. huge. What do you think? That's uh, about ten inches or so. Yeah, I'd say I would deep? say eight to ten. Yeah, eight to ten inches deep. With a two by six, maybe even wall, more than that. And then you add your siding, everything. I'd say it's probably eight or ten inches wide right there. That's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and smoke detector in here as well. Yeah. And they have two uh, air conditioned uh, heating vents. Three. Yep. They have three in. here. Yeah, How about that? We haven't always shown smoke detectors in the past, but every oh. bedroom that we've been in so far has had smoke That's detectors. That's important. Yep. Yep. Keep your family safe. safe. Yeah, If you've ever had a fire at a home, you you know the importance of My it. My dad lost a house when he was a kid. Uh, I think he was five or six their house burned to the ground. So he's like one of those advocates for smoke alarms. Every time yeah. he comes to the house, he's like, your battery's good and your smoke alarm? <laughs> yep. Hey, guys, drop a comment if you are a family member have ever had uh, lost a home to fire and how important it is for smoke detectors. And do us a favor, hit the like button also if you're getting value out of this video. It helps us out. Does it cost you a thing? Yep. So... Here is the master bathroom. Very nice double vanity sink area. That nice darker style cabinet is still here. You're still gonna have the soft closed drawers. Yep. Plenty of workable area there. You have a little more privacy in this home with your toilet having a wall that separates it from the shower and the bathtub over here. And uh, that, that's just that's just one of those things where I guess it's personal preference. Yeah. I yeah. think I would. Doesn't have like a that. doesn't have a door in front, but it's got that little wall. It makes you feel a little bit, you know. It does right. have a fan. Yeah, it does. It does. Miranda's <laughs> thankful for that. Yeah, I, I'm sure she is. So if you look right here, here's that other closet I was telling y'all about. So if your wife wanted the big closet in the master bedroom or vice versa, then you've got two separate areas for your clothes to be. Absolutely. Now we're going to talk about the shower and the bathtub. This is usually the favorite part for my wife. Get in the there. Sit, yeah. That way they'll that way they'll see how big it is. All right, here we go. And Brandon, how tall are you? Sir? I joke about you being seven foot tall, but how tall are you? I'm about six foot two. So, so six foot two, and he's so, with no problem. Oh yeah, I'm stretched out. So can you, can you bring me some wine? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be right there with you, buddy. So, so look, your arms can sit down here. A lot of times bathtubs don't have the recessed arms. They're up here someplace. Yeah. You put them down here, and your arms can still be below the water level. That's a neat feature. Yeah, it really is. I really like that. And your your faucet over here is kind of to the side. Absolutely. Instead of it being directly on or yeah. something like that, which is just a little bit different. This is a very nice tile all the way around the top side of that, too. And the shower, compared to most homes, especially mobile homes, even in the upper end ones, a lot of times they have a plastic basin in the floor. Yeah. You'll notice that that's tile. So this is a real tile floor in the bottom of this mobile home. Now, something to note about that is, I don't know if any of you guys have ever worked with ceramic tile before, but usually it cracks. Yeah. Like really, really bad. When you're putting it in. Yep. And these homes right here do a really good job with their tile because you got to think, this thing's moved for miles and miles and miles. And most people, if they had their, if they had to move their home with their tiles in, yeah. they'd be falling it'd be, off the walls. <laughs> yeah, it'd do the same thing. And you've got the bench in here too, Brandon. Oh, yeah. They got to see how big the bench is. Have a seat there. For yeah, it's a good size bench. And it's also got the wand and the rain head overhead, also. Broadcasting from the shower at Deer Valley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Dual controls there again. Nobody's going to freeze. Yeah. Very cool. We're going to make our way to the third bathroom, the other two guests. Yeah, we've still got rooms that we haven't this, shown this you. This is just continuing on. I mean, this is it a is. big home. Guys. We're like 18 minutes in, and we still haven't made it out to show them the price yet. Look at this little closet. Here's a really nice closet to the side. 
This is adjacent to the uh, laundry room and the what I would consider the fourth bedroom. I'm going to call the smallest bedroom the fourth. How about that? Perfect for sheets. Oh, absolutely. Perfect for sheets. And that's your heating and air. Pretty yeah. standard stuff right there. The only reason I'm going to open it is to show you all that they put the sheet rock on the back side of that door too, just to yeah. add a little bit more. Soundproofing. Yep. So that's a that's a big heat and air return too. If you know absolutely. Long, about high and high. Absolutely. You get for a home this size though, it's important. Yeah, you got to have a big one. Third bathroom. Oh, all right. Nice. <laughs> Single piece shower so, unit. Yeah. Plenty of cabinets there too. The, it does have a window in there, so it does have natural lighting. The window is overhead. I'm going to show you guys that real quick too. So it's it's high, so you don't have to worry about even putting a blind up there. I mean, unless you unless you have people in a high rise, I guess. Yeah. Next to you, which honestly, probably not. All right. Here's another bedroom. Another good bedroom. Uh, you know, a lot of families have three kids, yeah, and they need four bedrooms. So, you know, when they're younger, the kids can bump together or whatever. As they get older, they need space, yeah. they need room. They're arguing. You know, for the parents' sanity, <laughs> it's nice to have that extra bedroom. And if you don't, you've got a place for an office. And this is a little small walk-in closet too in here, Brandon. Yeah, that's a good size one. Yeah, absolutely. It's got the wire shelving, but again, upgradable. This would be a great little office space right here. Believe it or not, I think we finally came to an end of all of the bedrooms and bathrooms and just, man, this thing just keeps going. Yeah. I had to look around the corner to make sure we didn't miss one. I know. Let's show them the, what everybody wants to know. That that's the price. So, so. time of filming. Y'all keep in mind this was filmed in June 2023. We are making sure that everybody's aware that the prices are going up and down and all around still. As you can see here, normally this was two hundred and fifty thousand. It's down to two twenty six nine. If I have how, to buy a home, this is it right here. I'm how done. often do you see price drops like that in this economy yeah, with true. inflation like it is? And if you look right there, thirty two by eighty. You're talking yep. about over two thousand square foot in here. And this is how do you pronounce Adriel? Yeah, we'll go with Deer, that. Yeah, we we'll may be messing it up, but Deer Valley Adriel, that's what we're going to call it. So. And you can see that they highlighted the features that we talked about. Finished sheetrock, energy efficient, thermopane windows, and solid wood cabinets. So yep. there again, guys, that's a heck of a deal. Just those appliances now would cost you seven or $8,000. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's go and check out the next home here. It's another showstopper. It's right back there. Let's All right, we're out. headed that way. Be sure to follow us out that door by clicking on this video up in the corner. Go with us.